Theater, and welcome to the exciting world of hip. Well, good morning. I'm Andrea Jackson with your wake up call for Monday, October 4th, 2010. 20 oil tankers marked for NATO and U.S. troops in Afghanistan were torched by terrorists in Pakistan, the third tanker attack in recent days. Brazil came close to electing the country's first female president. Dilma Rousseff needed at least 50% of the vote. She got 46. The elections go into the second round where she might be able to pull off a victory. The State Department stopped short of telling Americans to cancel their European vacations and instead warned tourists of impending terrorist attacks at popular landmarks. Don't forget to write. Uh, team Europe took a swing at the U.S. Ryder Cup team and kept Tiger and company from winning a single match. One more day at Celtic Manor before the scorecards are complete. The Supreme Court opens their fall session today with a new justice. Elena Kagan replaces Justice John Paul Stevens after 35 years on the bench. Verizon Wireless is doling out $90 million in refunds to 15 million cell phone customers who were charged for internet and data services they did not use. Bank of America is put a stop on foreclosures in 23 states for at least 60 days while they double check some shoddy paperwork. A memorial service will be held for actor Tony Curtis in Las Vegas today. And The Social Network had plenty of friends in theaters this weekend, $23 million worth to score the top spot at the box office. Secretariat will give Zuckerberg and company a run for their money when it opens on Friday. Here is your national weather forecast. Storm number three in less than a week is moving into to the northeast, another two inches of rain could fall. Cool, sunny, and breezy in the south. Rain from Ohio to Kentucky and thunderstorms out west. That is your Monday morning wake-up call. I'm Andrea Jackson. I'll ring you in the morning. Be good.